Starting his posting in July and accredited in September, the new UK ambassador to Thailand, Mark Yuding, is no stranger to the country, having backpacked here as a student and visited the country for work. I've been to Thailand many times over the years. Uh, the first time I came to Thailand was in 1994 as a student backpacker and I travelled around and so at that point I became fascinated with Thai history, Thai culture and uh, fell in love with the country and I've been back many times since then for private and professional uh, visits um, so I was very happy to get the job here. Staying here in Bangkok with his husband, the ambassador actually arrived in Thailand several months before his post to study the Thai language. And I was able to spend seven months in Bangkok learning Thai um, so I was uh, exploring a lot of Bangkok. I managed to do a part of my course in Konken, in Chiang Mai, uh, and I also got to travel to some other places as well. So as well as learning the language, I got a feel for the country and uh, some of the food, some of the scenery, uh, and very much enjoyed myself. I think uh, Thailand is such a diverse country with over 70 provinces, and each province has its own distinct identity uh, and culture. So I think clearly in Bangkok, it's a very dynamic city, there's uh, lots of life here, lots of things to do, it's exciting, it's very developed. To prove that he has made some progress in his Thai language, His Excellency spoke some Thai. With some of the COVID restrictions in Thailand being lifted, the ambassador is enjoying his life here even without being able to do everything he wants. It's one of the things I like to do is eat. Uh, I love Thai food, uh, but when the restaurants are shut, it's uh, more difficult to do that. Um, but yes, I, I do like running, uh, so I run outside. Uh, I like to run in the parks, so I'm very happy that the parks are now open again. Um, I like to swim, so I'm happy that the swimming pools are open again. Um, but even uh, just walking around Bangkok I find fascinating, uh, so I've been able to do that throughout. Um, back in the UK I used to sing in a big choir in central London, so that is obviously not possible uh, or hasn't been possible with the COVID restrictions, but hopefully that will change. Regarding bilateral relations, economic development and security are the main focus, while as an ASEAN dialogue partner, the UK is also looking to strengthen its regional role, including the situation in Myanmar. Um, our ministers in the UK understood the importance of this region, both for economic and security issues. Uh, there are many sectors uh, such as science and technology, uh, innovation, education, services, health, where I think we can cooperate more uh, in the years ahead. We already cooperate a lot on counter-terrorism, organised crime, uh, regional security, and I think there's more that we can do in those areas. We have the first UK-Thailand Joint Economic and Trade Committee uh, meeting in the next few months, and we also have our regular strategic dialogue, uh, which should take place hopefully very soon before the end of this year, and that will set the direction for our bilateral relationship over the year ahead. I mean, we have a lot of health cooperation between the UK and Thailand, not just on COVID, but also on uh, other illnesses, on mental health uh, and genomics, so that is uh, an area of real growth for us. Among assistance provided in terms of health, the UK donated 415,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccine to Thailand back in July. It just shows how in COVID we have to work together internationally um, and that means uh, making the best of vaccines but also sharing information about the spread of the disease and uh, in ideas in terms of how we can limit the spread and help treat people who catch it. Around 50,000 Britons lived in Thailand, according to the ambassador. And the embassy has a large consulate team to help British nationals in Thailand with all kinds of issues, including access to vaccines. In any year, we will be providing assistance uh, to more than 1,500 uh, British people in Thailand. And by that, I mean, there can be quite difficult cases where people are hospitalized or sadly when they die. We have uh, some British nationals in prison here. We help people who are vulnerable. So there are lots of cases and, and that work hasn't stopped. In terms of COVID specifically, uh, there was an issue when I arrived uh, in July about many British people finding it difficult to access vaccines in Thailand. So what we've done is worked with other embassies here and with the uh, royal government uh, to expand the vaccination programme so that uh, foreigners, including British people, can have access here in Thailand. Um, and that's, that's uh, starting to work. 
Like some other countries, the UK is also focusing on anti-climate change efforts. But this year is special for the United Kingdom, as it will very soon host the UN climate change conference known as COP26 in Glasgow, beginning at the end of October. So that is a big priority for us to engage with Thailand and other countries in this region on that. With Thailand being removed from the UK's red list of countries from which travellers are required to enter quarantine upon entry on October 7th, His Excellency shed some light on this and shared how the embassy was working hard to make the lifting of travel restrictions possible. We are opening up gradually for travel um, and uh, in respect of red listing, uh, there are various factors behind it. It's not just about total case numbers. Uh, but in the case of Thailand, the question is about testing for variants of concern. So we're working with the Ministry of Public Health to increase the volume of testing. Hoping that more Thais will study, visit or even do business in the UK, Mr Gooding highlighted diversity as a trademark of the country. Well, for me, the UK is a real uh, melting pot. It's very diverse. If you want a, an experience studying, you want academic excellence, but you also want people from around the world to gather to study with you, then the UK is the place to go. If you want to do business in a very uh, open and a sophisticated market, but where other businesses are gathered as well, then the UK is an obvious place. And some of the most interesting trips I've done around the uh, UK have been to all the different corners. And they have very different uh, cultures, identities, sceneries. So uh, I would encourage people to uh, explore. Hatay Deshikit Renan reporting for Thai PBS World.